The whole universe depends on everything fitting together just right. Have one piece bus, even the smallest piece, the entire universe will get busted. Beasts of the Southern Wild is my favourite film. It's also the film that had the biggest impact on me. Actually, those two statements are inextricably linked. Every element, moment, scene and sound fits together into a whole that no other film has for me. But that's only the case for me personally. I could break down all of its elements into videos on how filming with a shaky, handheld style lent an air of authenticity how the magical realism of the film is more of a genuine representation of a child's view of the world, or how Wink offers one of the most complex depictions of fatherhood I've yet seen that doesn't shy away from his massive failings, but also doesn't damn him for those failings. I could say a lot about this film, but I can't bring myself to say it. It is a great film but my feelings for it are so wrapped up in the personal situation I was in before I watched it that this pedestal I place it on might have more to do with my mindset when I first watched it than the film itself. I had a stomachache. That was what I told my dad. I didn't have a stomachache. I was having a bad day. The sort of day where one odd look from a stranger might send me into paroxysms of self-hatred and anxiety. That wasn't the first bad day that week, nor the first bad week that month, but it was a day where I absolutely didn't want to leave the house. My dad wanted to catch a film with me, despite, or perhaps more likely, because of my bad mood. And I really didn't. So I had a stomachache. This was a shorthand way of signalling my mental state I'd used before when I didn't want to talk about it. A way my dad, at least on that day, seemed to miss. He offered me painkillers, and suddenly it seemed an impossible task to explain why I actually didn't want to go to see a film. So I agreed. Beasts of the Southern Wild was a film I was interested in. It did very well at Cannes and Sundance, and was receiving some fantastic reviews. Knowing it was probably my kind of film was another reason I didn't want to go. I thought I was going to ruin a great film with my bad mood, forever spoil something I might have otherwise enjoyed. The movie wasn't the problem, nor the trip to the cinema, nor the people I might meet on the way. I was the problem. I didn't want to inflict myself on anyone else. My anxiety had given me a real stomachache by the time we got to the cinema. I felt like every patron and member of staff was looking through my clothes, skin and bones to the writhing mess of something my stomach was playing host to, judging me for not knowing how to control it, how to get rid of it. Does this all sound pathetically melodramatic? Yeah, but that's the sort of headspace I was in as I took my seat. The ads, trailers and the first bits of the film rushed past me. I couldn't focus. The stomach ache, real or metaphorical, I can't say, perhaps there was no difference, was making it hard to follow what was happening on screen. Eventually I calmed down to a state of mild discomfort, annoyed my mood was getting in the way of enjoying the film, ashamed that I couldn't snap out of it. And then I did. It was a moment of pure magic. When people talk about movie magic, I think they usually mean the overall experience of going to a cinema. The junk food, friends and the film itself all blur into one great night out. When I think the magic of cinema though, I can only think of one scene. It was a single shot that grabbed me, that had the hair on the back of my neck stand on end and tears spring to my eyes for reasons I can't and couldn't put into words. Hush Puppy, the six year old protagonist of the film looks out at a stretch of muddy water and watches as a roll of thunder sends ripples across its surface. 
I can't tell you why this shot affected me so much. I couldn't break it down, analyse it, or make sense of it if I wanted to. And I don't want to. Writing this now, I still don't, and much like when I first saw it, all I can do, and all I want to do, is feel it. Beasts of the Southern Wild is full of beautiful shots, incredible performances, and the sort of magic that lives somewhere in between the images I'm seeing and the meanings I'm deciphering. I don't know what you might see, feel, or understand when watching this film, and I doubt it will hit you the way it did me. All I can really say about my favourite film is that I love it, because to try to pull apart why I love it, or what affected me so much in this seemingly simple scene, would be to try to divorce some of that magic from its source, to intellectualise something that would be lessened by doing so. I can't really talk about Beasts of the Southern Wild, because with every word I stray further from feeling it. Are you feeling better now? We're in the car, heading home, and I turn to my dad, confused. Your stomach ache. Is it gone? I can't remember how I answered. Maybe I didn't, but I'd totally forgotten the stomach ache or the reason he thought I'd had one. I wasn't walking on sunshine, nor seeing the world through a new lens, but whatever was sitting in my stomach was gone. Beasts of the Southern Wilds will always be tied to that trip to the cinema for me. The horrible mood I was in, and that feeling of watching Hush Puppy watch the sky dance with the water for the first time. I can't explain why it moves me to tears from the opening shots every time I watch it, but I can tell you that it does. I love this film, and I don't need to look at it any more deeply than that. Thanks, as always, go to my wonderful patrons at patreon.com slash various horses. This sort of video wouldn't be possible without their support, as well as the lovely community I feel a little bit guilty for having on this channel. So, as always, cheers. Have a good one.